We are now going to go over simple interest problems, calculating the results of the formula on an Excel spreadsheet. Notice that we're first going to find the interest on a loan of $2 million, where the yearly interest rate is 7 and 2 tenths percent for four months. All right, because we want to find the interest, we're going to use the formula that the interest is the amount of the loan, which is the P, times the yearly interest rate times the time. Putting in the amount of money, I'm going to write it as $2 million without the dollar sign. We put in the interest rate as a percent, which is 7.2, write down the percent sign. The time is four months. I want this to go ahead and use this as 2 million. So I go where it says under number and I change that to a dollar amount. I can leave this as a percent, which I want to do. The four months is the time has to be calculated in terms of years. We have to create the yearly amount. So we're going to take the four divided by the 12 months in a year, and it's now in decimal notation. And we would like to be accurate because that's one third of a year. Now, in order to be able to calculate the amount of interest earned in the four months' time, we click on the 2 million times the 7% times the time in decimal notation. And that tells us that, and we can change that to a dollar sign, uh, to dollar amount, that the interest is $48,000. Going to the next problem, after adjustment for deductions, a taxpayer has to pay state tax on $18,000 and an interest rate of 3%. We want to calculate the amount of tax that must be paid. Well, the amount of tax is simple interest. So we use the simple interest formula again. We put in the 18,000. The interest rate is 3% because we're paying it once for the entire previous year. The T is 1. And again, using the interest formula, remember for every time we create a formula, we must put the equal sign down. We have equals the 18,000 times the 3% times the one year that tells us that you had to pay $540 in tax. Let's continue on. For number three, we want to be able to calculate the simple interest rate on a loan that charged you $18 in interest after you borrowed $150, you kept the loan for two years, and you're now making a payment after the two years. That's called a balloon payment, where you're paying the amount of the loan plus the interest all in one payment. So in order to calculate the percent interest, we're using the R formula, which says the yearly interest rate is the amount of interest charged divided by, open parentheses, the amount we borrow times the time. This case, since the time is in years, we don't have to change anything. So going to the formula, we're going to take the amount of interest, which is the $18, divided by, please be sure to use the parentheses, the $150 times the two years, close the parenthesis, so therefore the computer knows to multiply the 150 by the two before it divides the 18 by that number. And that tells us that 600. Well, we want to change that to a percent, so just to see it that way, to, count, to keep that particular number, I'm going to press equal and I'm going to copy the cell. And I want to do it that way so it makes it easier. I want to be able to change it to a percent, so I go under the number template, go to percent, and that tells us we had to pay 6% in interest. Now we're going to go to a different formula, the future value formula. Remember, the future value is the same as taking the present value plus the interest. And the interest is PRT. And using this formula, we're now doing something like saying the future value is equal to the principal plus the interest, which is PRT. And uh, factoring out the P, we get this formula. Well, the future value, again, using the fact that the amount that we invested is the 3000 times, and you must put the time sign down before you open the parenthesis, otherwise the computer does not know to multiply. 
we take 1 plus the amount of interest times the time, close the parenthesis, and that will tell us that at the end of four years, we will have $3,720, which means that the amount of interest earned is going to be the $720. And I want to make it look like that. Okay. Let's look at a few more problems. Here, the next one, problem number five, we're borrowing $6,100 for four years and nine months at a simple interest rate of five and seven tenths percent. We want to be able to find the total amount due which means that we're going to use the formula that we used in the previous problem, that the future value is equal to the present value times 1 plus r times t. Well, notice this time the years is in terms, the t is in terms of years and months. Again, the first thing we have to do is change that to a decimal number totally in terms of years. So we take the 4 plus the 9 months, which is 9 divided by the 12. Remember, the equal sign creates the formula. And that tells us we have 4 and 75 hundredths of a year. Well, now we can use the future value formula, where we take the amount of the loan, which is $6,100, times, open the parentheses, 1 plus the interest rate, which is 5.7%, times the time which we calculated, which is 4 and 75 hundredths, close the parenthesis, and that tells us that in four years and nine months, we will have to pay back $7,751.58. All right? Next, we want to be able to find the present value. How much should we actually invest today if we want to be able to have $10,000 in six years at 8 and 6 tenths percent simple interest. Well, using the present value formula, what we do is we take the future value of the $10,000 that we want to have, divided by, remember to open the parenthesis, 1 plus the interest rate, which is, let me make sure I get the 1 there, which the time one plus the interest rate, which is 8.6%, times the six years, close the parenthesis, and therefore, ah, and we want to make sure that we put a parenthesis in front of that one. All right, so sorry about that. Let's make the appropriate correction. And we put a parenthesis in front of the one, and I'm going to do it over here. Let's try that again. And that would be better. And there you see, if you don't put the parenthesis in, it doesn't like to create the formula. And that tells us that we would have to put in $6,596.31. Well, how much interest was earned during the six years? We use the formula that the interest rate is equal to the future value minus the present value. Therefore, we know that the future value is the $10,000 minus the present value, which is the $6,596.31, that the amount of interest that we earned during the six-year period was $3,403.69. Well, let's see something. Let's look at this a little bit more. I really want to know how much interest was earned per year. Now, since we're using the simple interest form amount, the simple interest, the amount of interest per year stays the same. So in order to be able to determine how much we earned each and every year, we take the amount of interest earned and we divide that by the number of years, which is six, and that tells us that we earned $567.28 every single year. Last question, we want to be able to calculate the time. How long do we have to pay back $2,000 at 4% simple interest 
if the amount that we have to pay as a balloon payment is $2,400. Well, since we know the present value is $2,000 and the future value is $2,400, the first thing we want to be able to determine is what's the interest, the amount of interest that we earned. So the interest is the future value minus the present value, which tells us we paid $400 in interest. Now we go to the formula that says that the amount of time will be the amount of interest earned, which is the $400, divided by, open parenthesis, the present value, which is the 2000 times the amount of interest, which is 4% per year, close the parenthesis, and that tells us that in five years, we have to make a balloon payment of $2,400.